Hello guys, in this video we will see how to install and configure JBIC 7.4 on Ubuntu 22.04 by using MySQL as the database. Open any web browser, then go to JBIC's official website that is jbix.com. See, JBIC 7.4 is out now. Click on Get JBIC, then click on JBIC Packages. See here we have the latest version 7.4. Then select the Ubuntu. In this video I am going to Install on Ubuntu 22.04. Select it. Then select JBX component, server, frontend, and agent. Then I am using MySQL as the database. Then web server, I am going to use Apache web server. Okay. Once we select it, see here, it populated the, these commands. Those needs to be executed to install JBX. Before executing these commands, we have to verify whether this MySQL and Apache is installed or not. Open terminal. First verify Apache is installed or not. sudo systemctf status Apache 2. Provide the password sudo user. Hit enter. Say Apache is not installed. So install it. sudo apt install Apache 2. Hit enter. Type for confirmation. Hit enter. We have successfully installed. Now verify the status. The MySQL server. sudo systemctf status MySQL. Sorry, it is MySQL. See, you have successfully installed MySQL server. If you want to install MySQL server, search for my YouTube channel how to install MySQL server 8.0.4 to an Ubuntu 22.04. Okay, control it. Now, review the settings one more time. Version number, OS distribution name, that is Ubuntu. OS version 22.04, JBX components, database, and Apache web server. You have to select these options. Okay, then come down. Next step is install and configure JBX for your platform. So, first become the root user sudo hyphen s. Now I am root. Then we have to install the repository. So, copy this command, entire command. Then paste it, hit enter. It is done. Now install it. Copy, paste it. Hit enter. It is done. Control it. Next, update the packages. APT update. Control it. Now we have to install JPEG server front end and agent. So copy this command. Paste it, hit enter. See, it is going to install these packages and these dependencies. Type for confirmation and hit enter. See, we have successfully installed. Now, connect to MySQL and create initial database. So, connect to MySQL, MySQL hyphen u root hyphen p hit enter provide the password the root account control a see here i have connected to mysql server 8.0.42 okay control it now see here this is going to create database and this command is going to create user and this command is going to grant privileges to this user on this database okay then this will set the global variable to 1. So copy these commands one by one. Paste it, hit enter. It is done. Now create the user and see here this is the password for this user. You want to change, you can change. But I am going with the default one, later I can change. Copy it, paste it, hit enter. It is done. Now verify, show databases. See, JBX database is created. Also verify the username, select user from mysql dot user. See, we have created user JBX. Now grant the privileges. It is done. Now set this value to global value to 1. Hit enter. Now exit from the mysql fit. 
now run this command so this will import the initial scheme on data so copy this command control a paste it hit enter provide the password of this jvx user so here it is password so give the same password hit enter see now it is importing schema and data this will take one or two minutes it is done now connect to my sql and set this value to zero now copy this one paste it hit enter now exit now we have to configure the database for the jvx server so go to this file copy it vi or use the text editor that you are familiar with then go to the this db password parameter db name db user db user is jbix okay now remove this hash in front of this db password shift k then give the password in my case password okay here i have given password so here also we have to give same password okay escape colon wq exclamation hit enter we have successfully saved now start the jvx server and its agent processes copy it paste it hit enter it is done now enable the jvx server and agent processes hit enter it is done now for the status of the jvx server sudo systemctl jvx hyphen server sorry i forgot to give the status see jvx server is running and it is enabled q to quit control it next now we have to open the url for the jvx ui so this is the command we have to give http hostname and jvx new tab http colon forward slash hostname get hostname see this is the hostname so copy it paste it forward slash jvx see if you go back see you have to give hostname or you can give root back ip or local host is also fine because jvx is installed on this one that i will show you later then give the jvx and hit enter see Welcome to JBIC 7.4. Then click on next step. See, prerequisites for all are green. Status is green. Then click on next step. Now select the database type MySQL. Then database host. You can give the host name or local host is also fine. Port number for the MySQL is 3306. Then database name is JBIC. Username also JBIC password go to here see whatever is the password here you have given that password you have to give here so i have given the same password then tsl then click on next step not now jvx server is installed on this one you can give local host or the host name of this one then default time zone i am not going to change anything then click on next step Right. See, this is the free installation summary. If you are okay with all the settings, then click on next step. See, congratulations, you have successfully installed JPX, JPX front end. And see, this is the configuration file. Okay, click on finish. Now we have to connect, but the initial username is admin and password is JPX. This is case sensitive. Here, password is JPX. I will keep this username and password in the video description. But if you give like small admin and your password is JPEX, it won't work. 
not now c unable to connect so we have to give tab c a t m i n then password is jbx then click on sign in not now see we have successfully connected to jbx web page and see here the version jbx server 7.4.0 okay if you want to sign out click on sign out and see here monitoring services dashboards dashboards monitoring services inventory reports data collection alerts users and administration okay so if you want so you can go through the documentation and you can practice if you want to create users click on users again users see here this is the user that you have connected if you want to change the password click on password of this user then you have to click on change password then you have to provide current password that is jbx and new password then you have to click on update I'm canceling. If you want to create user, click on create user. See, you have to provide all these details. I'm not going to create. Okay, next one is HTTP colon localhost because JBX is installed on this one. So, JBX. Now we have to provide the same username, password also same. JBX, click on sign in. Not now see you have successfully connected even you can connect with do back ip 127.0.0.1 jbx hit enter see you got the same login page if you stop now we'll see what will happen if you stop the apache service sudo system ctl stop apache 2 reload this one See unable to connect. So Apache server must be always up and running. Sudo system CTL start Apache 2. It is started. Now reload this one. See we have successfully connected. Okay. So in this video we have seen how to install and configure JPEG server 7.4 on Ubuntu 22.04 with MySQL as the database. Okay. For more JPEG tutorials, please subscribe my channel. Thank you.